Welcome to Electron lecture online. Another very practical application of exponential functions is called the doubling time, the amount of time that it takes things to double. So here we have an equation that tells us that the quantity that we have at any, uh, any time is equal to the initial amount that we have times 2 raised to the t over a power, where a is the amount of time that it takes for the quantity to double, the time to double. So if a is equal to 4 hours, meaning the quantity will double every 4 hours, and the original amount we started with is 1,000, uh, perhaps the bacteria culture, then what would the number be when t is equal to 15 hours? And secondly, find how long it will take for the amount to end up with is 100 times the original amount that we started with. All right, how do we do that? Well, the first one is fairly easy. We simply plug in the value for t. So we say n, the amount that we end up with when t is equal to 15 hours, is equal to the original amount that we started with, which is 1,000, times the times 2 raised to the time, uh, that would be 15, divided by a, and in this case, a is equal to 4. So it's 2 raised to the 15 divided by 4 power. So we take 15 divided by 4, 15 divided by 4, and that would become the exponent of 2. So 2 raised to the 3.75 power, and then we we'll multiply it times 1,000, and that gives the quantity n when the time has reached 15 hours is therefore equal to 13,454. So that's our first answer. Now we're trying to find how long it will take for the quantity to reach 100 times 1,000, which would be 100,000. For that, we need to then calculate or we need to solve for t in this particular equation. So what we're going to do first is isolate the 2 raised to the t over a power. So what we're going to do here is divide both sides by n sub naught. So we have n divided by n sub naught is equal to 2 raised to the t over a power. So all we did was divide both sides by n sub naught. The next thing we're going to do is take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of n divided by n sub naught is equal to the natural log of 2 raised to the t over a power. Remember, whenever I have a logarithm of something raised to an exponent, that exponent can move to the front. So we can write the natural log of n over n sub naught is equal to t over a times the natural log of 2. And finally, we can solve this equation for t. So we have t is equal to the natural log of n over n sub naught multiplied times a and divided by the natural log of 2. So multiply times a and divide by the natural log of 2. Now we're ready to plug in some numbers. So remember that n was supposed to be a, a 100 times n sub naught. So t is equal to the natural log of 100 n sub naught divided by n sub naught times a, a is equal to 4, and divide this by the natural log of 2. Of course, n sub naughts cancel out, so that's the natural log of 100. So take 100, take the natural log, times 4, and divide that by the natural log of 2. That means the time that needs to elapse to reach 100,000 times the original population is 26.6, and that would be hours, assuming we're dealing with hours here. So that's how we calculate the time to reach any quantity, and that's also how we solve for the number that we end up with once the time is known. And that's how we use these exponential functions to use the doubling time concept. That's how it's done.